Let's look at the VanBits Battery Master and see how it actually works, how it all ties together, how you actually connect it, and I'm going to demonstrate exactly what this thing does. Hey folks, my name is Nigel from Off Grid Power Solutions, and as I mentioned in this video, we're going to be looking at the Battery Master, which is one of our favorite ways to keep your engine battery in your motorhome or your camper van charged and trickle charged and good, especially through the winter. Uh, so often we hear stories from people saying, oh, they have an epic electrical system with all the Victron stuff stuff and lithium batteries and everything but the engine battery keeps going flat especially if they're at a campsite uh, for five days or, or something along those lines and they don't move the vehicle and often that can be caused by a number of different things you can have a parasitic draw on the engine battery which could be from an alarm system or something along those lines a USB that uh, doesn't turn off when the ignition is off there's a number of different reasons as to why your engine battery could be uh, going flat uh, but this takes care of those a very simple elementary cost-effective way and it just works and it works really well so I'm going to show you how it works here okay so here is what we have so the battery master very as I mentioned very simple and elementary it's got three wires coming out of it so the red brown and black essentially what these are for is the black is your common negative or your common ground and then your red it goes to your leisure battery positive brown goes to your engine battery positive very simple and elementary. And so what we're gonna do here is, uh, first I'm gonna start off by measuring the voltage on these two batteries. So if we start off with this, so just to demonstrate and for the purposes of this demonstration, this lead acid battery here, the gray one, is uh, gonna simulate our engine battery. So it's a standard 12 volt lead acid battery. Obviously this is a leisure battery, but for the concept it's the same sort of chemistry as what most engine batteries have. On the right here, this uh, lithium battery, this is our OPS 100, so 100 amp hour lithium battery. So this is going to simulate our leisure battery in, uh, let's say, if you were to put it into your motorhome or whatever. Uh, so if we check the voltage on the engine battery over here, 12.8 volts, so it's a good voltage, pretty healthy. Uh, you'd be pretty happy if your engine battery was sitting around that sort of voltage voltage rested as well. This battery has uh, not been charged for some time. If we check our leisure battery here, uh, we are getting 13.26. Uh, so again, pretty standard voltage for lithium. Uh, it's probably about 30% state of charge. This is just a display battery that has been on the shelf here, so uh, it's not fully charged. And just to talk through how the battery master actually works, uh, so it works on a, a difference in voltage between the two batteries. So essentially, as soon as your leisure battery is 0.75 of a volt higher than your engine battery, then it's going to trickle charge your engine battery from your leisure battery. Uh, if, there's no, if, if that difference is not big enough, then it doesn't charge your leisure battery. So as we've seen here currently, 12.8 volts and then 13.2 volts, the difference between the two is not more than 0.75 of a volt. So if I was to connect this up right now, it wouldn't actually charge the engine battery because this is high enough voltage that it wouldn't need to, or, it, or it, it, that's essentially how it works. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to connect a charger up to this leisure battery here so that we can increase the voltage. All right, so charger is connected. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect the battery master. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a common negative between the two batteries like that. So I'm just using these crocodile clips and this is just to demonstrate how it actually works. Obviously, if you're putting this into your van, you'd wire this into the split charge system or something along those lines. And uh, we've got another video coming out next, which will take you through how we actually install the battery master with a Victron uh, Orion DC to DC. So I'm gonna put the negative from the battery master into this Wago just for demonstration purposes, just to connect everything up. So two crocodile clips on the two positives there. Then we're going to connect the positive for our engine battery, which is the brown. And so I'm going to pop that into the Wago over here. And then lastly, I'm going to take the crocodile clip and we're going to put that into here. I'm going to pull this through and Put that in here, 
All right, so that's all connected. As you can see, we've got the green light on here on the battery master. So we are good to go. So what we're gonna do now is just check the current going through this wire to see if there is anything. I wouldn't expect anything because as we know, the difference between the two batteries is not great enough for it to charge. So if we check here, nothing going through there. And obviously, if there wasn't anything going through the first one, nothing going through there either. So let's turn the charge up, which will cause the leisure battery, which is our lithium, to increase in voltage. And then we should see an increase in, we should see some current going through this wire. So if we connect here, straight away we can see 0.57 of an amp, basically half an amp is going through the wire now. And the LEDs turn to red, which I believe means that there's a difference in voltage, so it's essentially charging. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. If we check the voltage on the leisure battery, we've now got 13.9 volts. And the voltage on the engine battery, we have 13, around about 13 volts. And now our lights, this light is flicking between red and green, so I think that's because it's charging. As we can see here, we've got just over an amp going through. So whenever the light goes green, uh, it seems to slow down on charge or, or it actually stops charging altogether. Obviously it's going up a little bit there, it's gone the light's gone red, now it's gone green. So I think green is where it's uh, not charging and everything's good to go, so obviously the voltage difference is not great enough to, to pull current from the leisure battery into the engine battery, uh, but when it goes red, it does charge. I think that's, that's what I can see so far from what's happening. And we're charging at 25 amps into the leisure battery here. There's 13.9 volts on the leisure battery and 13.6 volts on the engine battery. And our light on the battery master is green, so that's good. Obviously it's reduced the amount of current that's going into it significantly, so obviously every now and then it actually goes up to one amp that it's passing through to the engine battery, but then it drops back down. And it corresponds to the light, so watching the light, it's currently green, and we've got less than an amp going through. And we'll see that goes up, we see it bump up to 1.2, 1.1 1 .1 amps and then it goes green again and drops back down. So obviously there's not a huge difference between these batteries in terms of their voltages. If this battery was fully charged at 14.4 volts and this was sitting at a resting voltage of 12.8 volts, there'd be enough of a difference to keep the engine battery much at a much higher voltage. Thirteen point two volts. Fourteen point six. No, thirteen point nine. Fourteen point six. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's charging there from that charger. You can see the voltage on the charge is fluctuating a little bit. So there we have it. That's how the battery master actually works. So when you connect it up, obviously common earth, one positive to that battery, one positive to that battery, and it just works. No programming or anything like that, just works on a voltage difference between the two. And uh, as I mentioned before, we've installed a bunch of these into various motorhomes and camper vans, and they work really well. We're really pleased with them. Uh, very foolproof, as long as you connect them up right, and you just leave them there, and they keep that engine battery 
nice and, and topped up. And the best thing about, about it is that, obviously we've demonstrated here with the mains charger, so this would simulate what you have for your electric hookup, um, but they work with any form of charge, so if you have solar coming into your leisure battery, then that'll obviously trickle charge your engine battery as well. So a uh, very cool piece of kit, uh, very cost effective and foolproof and easy way of keeping your engine battery charged and topped up. So one of the advantages of using a battery master for this application is that let's say you have lithium batteries and your fully charged voltage is 14.4 volts, uh, and let's say you have a pretty good solar system that keeps your leisure battery, your lithium battery, charged fully by the end of the day, say. And let's say your engine battery is a little bit old and potentially you've had some issues with it or something along those lines. One advantage of this system is that the battery master just keeps working based on the voltage difference between the two batteries. So a lot of uh, B2Bs or DC to DC chargers that have this sort of functionality built in, they work on the basis of uh, uh, realizing when there's charge coming into your leisure battery and only then do they top up the engine battery. They don't work on like a voltage difference between the two, uh, like the battery master. And so in instances like that where you, where you really want your engine battery to be looked after is at night when it's colder, uh, this would do that. Obviously it does drain a little bit from your leisure battery, but if you have such a big voltage difference between the two, say this is 13.8 or 13.6 volts and your engine battery drops down to 12.5, say, uh, it'll trickle charge at just one amp. So let's say it does that all night for eight hours, you've lost eight amp hours of capacity from your battery, uh, and at least then you know for sure that your engine's gonna start. So highly recommend the Battery Master, they're great pieces of kit. So there we have it folks, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful and informative. Uh, if you are interested in a Battery Master, we stock them in our shop. We'll have a link down below at the top of the description, and we ship all over Europe and the UK. So hit us up if you're interested, and if you have any questions or comments or anything that you wanna see us test or do or show or demonstrate, uh, let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.